Hi, Josh. Hi, uh, you all, good morning. You all have done so much right and well defensively this year. What sort of gnaws at you as far as things that you wish you all collectively had done better as a group through 17 weeks? Well, I mean, you know, obviously, I mean, the end game is wins. And, um, you know, that, that's the ultimate goal each week. And, you know, to play complimentary football uh, and do, you know, our part of that and win as a team. Uh, so obviously when you fall short of that, uh, that stings. And, um, you know, th those are the things that, that um, you know, that's big picture goal for us is each week to win, obviously. And then, um, you know, then you, you move on to the next week and you try to improve on the things that you're doing well and the things that you're not doing well, you, you try to get corrected. And um, that's kind of the way we approach it. There's no question the run defense has been better this year than last year and was very effective during the seven game winning streak. Uh, but you did give up a lot of rushing yards, obviously, Sunday. A lot of that was because Tennessee was leading throughout. You gave up a lot in the Buffalo finale last year. So do you emerge thinking our run defense is good enough? Uh, well, again, I mean, you, you don't really look at things, you know. I mean, at this time of year, I mean, you know, I mean, our, our focus right now, and it has been for the last, I don't know, six, seven hours this morning has been on the New England Patriots. So, um, you know, we, we went through the Tennessee film uh, on, on Monday and Sunday night, um, you know, looked at some things that, you know, that we could do a little bit better or a little bit differently. Uh, looked at some of the things that we were doing well, um, you know, tip your hat to them. Uh, you know, they had a good scheme. They're coached well. They played well, um, you know, and, um, you know, again, our, our focus is, is correct the things that we can correct and, uh, you know, move on and, and get ready for New England, who's, uh, and, you know, another tough opponent. Uh, we know they're going to run the ball um, and we're excited for the challenge this week. Thanks. Welcome. David. Hey, Josh. Yeah, on that run defense, uh, it had been so good for so many consecutive weeks. Um, and then this was the first time in a long time where uh, it looked the way it did. Uh, what were some of those factors that uh, you did identify in, in reviewing the game as, as to why it took that uh, drop off? Uh, I mean, you know, some of it, uh, you know, I mean, could be a little bit scheme related where, where we're, we're, we're trying to create negative plays. Uh, some of it is uh, you know, them staying ahead of the change and, you know, staying on track and, um, you know, not being able to really get them into situations where they need to throw the ball. And, um, you know, and then some of it, like I said, is, you know, is, is scheme issues. Uh, and then some of it is, you know, just fundamentals and techniques. And, um, you know, um, so those are the things, like I said, that, you know, when you review the film, you, you try to correct all those and then you get ready to play, uh, uh, you know, New England, who's a very good uh, run offense, uh, and they can throw the ball. They do a lot of things. They're very multiple. They're very well coached. They got very good players. They got a very good offensive line, very similar to the team that we saw last week. Um, uh, their receivers all block well. Uh, they all play hard. They're a physical, tough team. They're going to play for 60 minutes. So, again, we, I mean, we have a big challenge in front of us this week. So um, that's kind of really where our focus is. Travis. Hey, Coach, good morning. In regard to that focus on the Patriots, you guys obviously had a chance to see Mac Jones before his first career game now after, I should say, before his 17th career game. Where have you kind of seen him grow in terms of where he was back in September to now in January? I would say he has full control of the offense. Uh, he has the ability to check him in and out of place. He makes quick decisions. He's a, he's a quick processor. Uh, you know, he, uh, he, he's very accurate with the football. Um, you know, uh, he, he understands protections. Uh, so he knows where pressure is coming from. He knows where he needs to get the ball. Um, the, you know, he, he's, he's done a very nice job for him. Um, and, you know, again, it, it will be a big challenge for us this week uh, to try to keep him off track. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to that. Any final questions? Go to David. Yeah, we wanted to get your thoughts on Emmanuel Ogba, the steps he took this year, the totality of what he brings with the pass rush, and then when he doesn't get there, his ability to, to bat the ball down at the line of scrimmage as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the first first thought that comes to my mind when uh, you talk about Ogba is he, he's a selfless player. He puts the team first. Um, you know, he, he's a hard worker. He's a, t he's a tough guy. Um, you know, obviously glad we have him. Um, you know, he competes. 
And, um, you know, like, like all of us, you know, he, he'll come in and put it, put in a, you know, good day's work, try to put his best foot forward. And, um, you know, he, he's, he's been productive for us this year. And uh, how instrumental has uh, the, the play of uh, your top two cornerbacks been in a lot of the things that you, uh, you tried to do uh, this second half of the year where we saw the, the drastic improvement in, in a lot of categories? Well, again, you know, I mean, you know, uh, like we, we, we have good players and, you know, uh, when, when they play well, you know, that it opens up the, the, the ability to do multiple things. Um, obviously, um, you know, th those guys, not only in the pass game or coverage, you know, you know, you see them in the run game, they show up, uh, you see them in zone coverage, they show up. Um, so again, it, it's like all of our guys and we ask them to do the same thing you know, from all the way back to August till tomorrow, you know, or today is to improve and get better each day, become the best version of yourself. And, um, you know, big picture, you know, like, um, you know, totality type things. That's just not really where the mindset is. It's the same mindset of, um, you know, get better each day, try to improve, be the best version of yourself. And then collectively as a group, go out there and, uh, you know, put a good product on the field on Sunday and to win the game. Harry? Josh, I know your focus is entirely on New England, but I thought I'd give it one last try on one thing in particular. Uh, in terms of keeping in perspective what happens to your defensive group Sunday, giving up 198 rushing yards, it followed seven really good games. Do you look at that game, if you're willing to engage in this sort of discussion for do you look at that game and say our defensive front is not physical enough against power teams? Or do you look at that game and say we shouldn't form that conclusion because we put good things on tape for seven weeks? Uh, that's, a good, that's a good question, Barry. Uh, I, I would say, again, it goes back to um, there's a process. So, again, you look at what, what you've done okay, and how you're doing it and against, you know, multiple different things and multiple different teams. And you kind of make an assessment of, okay, we're doing this well, let's build off of this. With this, we're not doing well. Let's, let's kind of shy away from this. Or can we put guys in better spots on this? Um, one thing, you know, our guys play hard. They'll fight to the end. They're always going to play competitive. Um, and, you know, and at the end of the day, I mean, you know, like we're, we're human too. So like when, when, you know, when you lose, it's dejecting. Uh, you put a lot into it. You put a lot of effort, work, energy, uh, time, um, you know, and when those things don't go your way, obviously you, you don't, you know, you don't enjoy it. But, you know, again, like we've talked many times, like the reason why I love football so much is because it, it really kind of relates or correlates to life. You know, sometimes you get knocked down, you know, and all of us have experienced loss or, uh, you know, uh, tragedy. And, you know, sometimes you, you got to push forward, put, put, put your foot in front of the other um, for others. And, um, you know, that's why, that's why I like football, because, you know, when you sign up for that, you're a part of something that's greater than yourself. Uh, we've got a lot of good guys, a lot of, a lot of mentally and physically tough guys in our locker room. Um, and, um, you know, we're excited about the challenge this week, for sure.